in a similar vein, there's Gaia, but then there's also these people called Mind Valley. You heard of these guys, Amish? Oh, I love Mind Valley. Vishen Lakiani, he's he is the uh, I would call him the Google of the self help industry. He's buying them all up. Do you believe he's a sexy man too? The, he, there's nothing sexy about this guy. This guy's a con. This guy, uh, he put him, are, is he on the screen? Total con. No, this guy. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this guy. Look yeah. at the first five seconds of this con. Do you believe somebody could be trained potentially to sense information? Amish, I'm gonna have to shrink you down to size here because nobody can see what's really going on here. <laughs> just you just... <laughs> here. He's holding a book. His hands on a book. His hands on a book. Will you just go? Do you believe I, you gotta do your could great, be trained great gags. potentially to sense information, not by reading a book, but by touching a book. I have a crazy story to share with you. What? In oh, <laughs> what? Where's my whistle, dude? This is. He should be arrested. Hey, hey! I had to tell you to get this video. Hey, make the video. What is this? What is this window? What is this window silencing? I give this guy the video. I'm like, hey, hey, save that video yesterday in the meeting. And now he's shrinking me. You shrink me. In my book. You should be shrunk. Make me the giant. I'm I told you this guy's I'll, a psycho. I'll tell our Didn't I, I said, hey, I, save that ad. Hey, he's gonna I'll put tell his hand in the book, and he's gonna be like, I can read the book. Make him normal again, okay? <laughs> I'm making. I'm telling our producer to make you normal. <laughs> the producer. Make him normal, dude. This guy though, he's a psychopath. But he's 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 legit. Yeah. He's legit. Look at him. He no. He's Look at him. He's gonna legit. put his hand in the book, said, and then he doesn't even read, read it. a book. No, he goes, that is the title of his video is how to read a book by hovering your hand over it, the Silva Ultra Mind Technique. Now, you'll all be glad to know that the comment section is all co co uh, calling him a scammer. LMAO, he had no money, but he flew to Los Angeles to take some ske sketchy class. Sounds legit. Didn't even need to read his book. One touch, and I knew it was garbage. Absolute snake oil salesman. One touch. Ah! Finally, <laughs> no need to study for exams. Just feel up my books the night before. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he's he's uh, a he's a legend. To sense he's information, a not by reading a book, but by touching a book. I have a crazy story to share with you. In my book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, I I shared this story to some degree, but the story is so wild, I didn't go into the full story. And it's a story about how I learned through a teacher how to absorb information from a. Shut up. You're lying, dude. I, <laughs> guys, I'll challenge this guy. Yeah, I'll no, give, he's, uh... I'll, listen, listen. I don't even have the money to do it. Well, I can't say it because honestly, <laughs> what if he takes me up on it? Okay, I'll give this guy. No, no, this guy's this guy's a king in the game. I'll give this guy two thousand dollars. Listen, I've got to give him an amount that like I could feasibly give because I was gonna say ten thousand, but honestly, that would uh, <laughs> kind of break the old bank here. Dude, listen, he'd come I'll the give him. Free. Listen, hold on, Amish, he'd hold on. Stop the, the music, free. Amish. Stop the music. Stop horsing around. I'll give this guy $2,000 if he can come on the show. I'll, I don't know how we would do it, but I will would be willing to pay him a large sum of money if he could prove that he could do this on a book of my choice. Oh, if you, you think if go he to could read, read, the read me Open the first it, sentence of the book. The word. Read me the first sentence of the book. First sentence. Because well, look, he's saying he learned how to I'd do it. Chapter 28. By chapter 28, second it. paragraph, first word, go. That's what I would do. I wouldn't let him do first first sentence. He might have read that in advance. You got to go chapter 28. No, I'd give him a brand finish. new book. He has no idea what the book is. Never opened it. But then if he loses, because I can't, it can't just all be losses, uh, no upside for me. My upside, I'm not, you guys know I'm not greedy, okay? But my upside is that if he loses, he's got to delete the video. Oh, yeah. Well, this is just his... <laughs> Well, dude, this is just a side home video. This is just a COVID low production video. Look at this Nothing. stuff. Look, listen to what he says. Look at him. Into the full story. And it's a story about how I learned through a teacher how to absorb information from a book by touching it. Now, let me give you an idea. Of <laughs> what a con! I'm recording this at this home. This guy's a I'm con artist. So excuse the, the lower than usual. Without him, there is no Clark Kegley. There is no Master In 3 Akarsha. No, no, no. Oh, my Without gosh. Him, is is no anyone one. else it, losing their mind the watching original. this? I'm pissed. I'm Joe so Silva pissed. is a legend, dude. This these Clark Kegley doing a manifest attacks. He he's reading a book, dude. You got a text dude. message? He's literally like saying superpowers. Book. This is this is yogic flying into his brain. Oh my gosh, this guy's a 2002. So this was shortly after the dot com crisis. I had 
lost my company in San Francisco. I'd lost my savings and the economy had completely tanked because the dot-com bubble had burst in every company that was having a position open on any jobs that I could find. And so he starts off, I don't want to make you guys listen to all this. I've already watched it. So he's saying, look, the dot-com bubble happened. I couldn't get a job, da 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 I'm out of money. So he goes to this thing called the Silva Ultramine technique thing. He learns, goes to learn. I only got paid if I closed the sale. And he's a salesman right now. So he's a salesman and he's on the phone. So, okay, so watch. Of course. Now, I was an engineer. I knew nothing about sales. And the first month I made absolutely nothing. I was struggling, but that wasn't all. You see, when you have to pick up a phone and call a lawyer in the middle of his or her busy working day, lawyers are the worst people to interrupt. I got told to kid more times than I, I ever want to remember. And I guess one day in this See if you can put your hand on the screen and see what he bleeped out there. So, miserable job because there was no other so options. So heartwarming. This guy's He's a so, giant dude, con. Music, no, I see right through this. I see a, a snake video. going, warming, trying yeah, to worm but, his yeah. way into people's brains. Yeah, but dude, his his brainwashing techniques are tight. And dude, at one point in this video, he goes, he goes, sorry about the bad production value. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this place. Sexy production value, dude. It's beautiful. He's so well lit. He's no, got a ring light. He's but beautiful. that's the humble brag. He did that, some pressure. That's the humble brag. The it's humble like brag. saying, sorry, guys, no, this is only my $9 million studio today. Sorry, we couldn't be in my $2 yeah, he, million dollar studio. He knows how to brainwash. He's a brainwasher. Remember last time I played a video? You're like, you're like, dude, the music is so tight. He knows his music. He knows his cinematography. It's the music. He's on, by the way, he is on Gaia.com. He's on Gaia.com. <laughs> of course. After being told some... perhaps the 13th time to... by a lawyer, I sank into a bit of a depression. And I decided I needed <laughs> to do something about it this situation I was in. Times were tough. Uh, the dot-com bubble had burst. There were very few opportunities. What could I do? So I went on Google. Back then, Google was, was had just launched as a search engine. And I can't remember what I typed in. Maybe it was, why does life suck so bad? Or how do I scam people? Google, please help me. And what was interesting is, I can't remember how, but I stumbled upon a particular class. And in my book, I did not share the name of the class oh, back yes. then. But now I just got the permission and the rights to share the name of the class and it was called by the way you don't need the rights to share the name of a class just so everyone's clear about it that's not how he, trademarks okay. or copyrights work yeah but you know what i think he's he might be referring to is that he buys up all these old techniques so the silva method is like the 80s guy he's joe silva in the 80s he was popping and he was like mm. neville goddard and these guys he had a method vishan buys them up He's like, your method's the tightest. Who's I Neville Goddard? Why have I heard of him before? Him? Why have I heard of him before? He's a fake guru of like the 50s or 60s. He's oh. a he's a he's an OG in the game. Same with Joe Silva. Joe Silva's teaching these like my, these visualization meditations. He's an OG in the game. Dude, he's can you imagine? This. Can you imagine he's if you could he's, actually he's, do this? You could just book? touch a book. Oh my gosh. Called Silva Ultramind. It was a class developed by mind science pioneer Jose Silva. Shut he had passed uh, dude, they always hype these guys up. Mind science pioneer. Go to the theta level of mind and bring out that if you were in sales, this class would completely transform your life, right? It would just always accelerate. Sales. In the 70s and 80s was pioneering new ways of understanding San Antonio as a territory. Go to San Antonio and I... Yo, that's my hometown. Okay, relax. Don't bring that here. I had to use the San Antonio yellow pages and call every lawyer from A to Z. So that was the standard protocol, right? But now, after what I'd learned in the Silva class, I decided to try something different. I entered my altered state of mind. And then I held my hand on the yellow pages and I let my... This is amazing. This is the incredible part. My hand gently flow down the page. And I would feel an impulse every time there was a lawyer that my, my inner mind or intuition felt I should call. I would only call that wow. lawyer. Overnight, I doubled my sales. Wow. Now I'm in. Overnight. You know that's not even that's not even about. Okay, so now we've gone from I can read a book by touching it to even more than that. I hope you guys realize that's an even crazier claim, because now it's this is more by touching a book I can telepath to the intentions of lawyers I've never met, don't know what they look like. That like it's literally it's going further beyond. I can read a book. How, how likely do you think that this is Joseph Silva's, like, this script 
is Joseph Silva's script. Like 20, 30 years ago, Joseph Silva said, I didn't know who to call. I was broke. I'm alone. I have nothing. Then I used my method. I put my hand on it. First call, $10 million. It's, he it's probably, probably the same taught script. him this story. Mm -hmm. Look at look at how he's sitting, dude. Yeah. Amish, I want you to sit like this. Like, dude, look at how. Oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just this honest guy. He's sexy, dude. Dude, dude he's a sexy guy. Eyes. Look at you. Let, look at him give you give us these puppy eyes here. He's, hand on my heart. Acting. It happened. Right. Hand on my heart. It's a real story, guys. Yeah, he's he's good. Now you think what's the what's the shady shit? Because this guy is in the class of getting money from rich people. He's basically scamming a bunch of Gaia subscribers. He's getting the $300 US for, I got the rights to this guy's masterclass, 300 US. Yeah, this one, yeah, you can't teach, you can't tell someone that they're gonna learn how to manifest a sale. That's crazy. That's what he's saying. Well, he's saying you can double, triple, just... du quad quadruple your sales by learning the ultra mind. Engineer, so I'd apply depth. Oh, and he does that too. This pisses me off, okay? As an engineer, this pisses me off. When people say some like, they try to use the fact that I'm an engineer to say that, so I would know if this didn't really work. It's like, no, you're talking about reading yeah. a book by touching it. Nothing about you being an engineer relates to this. And yeah. you and I, as engineers, but can look, say I that. gotta say this. I gotta say this though. Years ago, I saw this thing in a documentary, and they said that fake gurus, uh, scammers, cult leaders, <laughs> they're high percentage engineering. I I don't know. They're really? just saying that the engineering mind tells you that you can control and manipulate and make a system, and then you kind of do that to your life. And, and that's what they were kind of saying in this, in this uh, thing. A lot of pickup artists and a lot of like, but I can never find like a conclusive study on it. But I, I just thought it was an interesting theory. I was like, yeah, that, I, I can see it kind of. But Amish, you and that, I like, are the also engineers. engineers. You're trained to be analytical. So what does that say about I us? I know. Are we starting a course? I mean, look, like I said, I'm always discerning. Gaia.com, I'm there. Vishen Lakiani is in episodes. He's featured. It is ridiculous. Like, this is ridiculous. Obviously, I don't believe in this, but yeah, no, I don't know. You know, Amish, what would just, you, you just say get if Vishini Lakamani tells you that you can get a course on Mind Valley? Hey, Vishen Lakiani. What would you say? The, the king of self help. The king of self help? Yeah. I'd say, get, how much money are you paying? And I'd go do a speaking engagement. I'd do, go do stand up. And I'd go do stand up. And I'd be like, you guys are idiots. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd be like, That's... fly me in, whatever. And then I'd go, I'd be like, you guys are stupid. And you know what's so crazy about them? Like, I just do a bunch of rips on the spiritual community because I already have stand up about that. So I'd rip them. And then at the end, they'd be like, wow. <laughs> he, he actually brought up a lot of great stuff. That's how positive these people are. They're so goddamn positive. They won't entertain a negative thought. So if you come and rip them, even, they're just like, wow, he's right. You know, he called it a lot of important stuff. But we were talking about this yesterday. They'll never call each other out for being con artists. It's they interesting. Don't. Like they're that. too non confrontational. It is interesting. Yeah. And if you call it one thing, they see you as negative. They're like, you're just being negative. Why can't I charge $300 US for a course on <laughs> manifesting the sale? Well, two, they go, I they mean, go Clark, what? Clark you Kegley's don't, giving away. They go, you don't, you don't care about the, the course? You're not willing to pay $300. You're not, you must not be invested. I saw someone say that. Somebody sent me a text of them getting convinced into something. And we're about to get into Anand, guys. We're about to give you a follow-up on our last video. We're going to give uh, right because it leads right into Anand it. Has, he actually has great stories. He's, He's got great he stories. He actually has really good stories. But yeah. this guy, he emailed me. He goes, look at this sales story. So it's this guy. He, he's trying to get into this guy, Mystery's Pickup Artist Group. Have you ever heard of this guy, Mystery? Anyway, yeah, he's the, he runs he's the OG some, in the in the pickup game. He's an OG. He's the king of pickup. So he's, he's trying to get in this guy's class, and one of the salesmen is talking to him, and uh, he goes, "How much for the course?" Da da da. And the guy's like, "Well, we're very selective. We don't want to, we don't want to just take anyone." He goes, "How much do you have?" And the guy goes, "Well, like fifteen hundred." He goes, "No, no, no. It's twenty one hundred dollars." And the guy goes, "Twenty one hundred dollars? That's a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money." And the guy goes, "Oh, okay. Then I guess you're not a good fit." And the guy goes, "He go, he goes." Oh, he goes, why? Why am I not a good fit? I thought you guys said you're looking for qualified candidates, not rich candidates. He goes, well, if you're not willing to pay $2,100, it shows me that you're not really invested. Oh, yeah. That's classic. That's a classic.